Hello, you're watching Encore, France 24's culture show. I'm Rochelle Harrison Pless. Thanks for joining us. Coming up. Resisting oppression through song, calling on the people of Haiti to rise up during the U.S. occupation of the early 20th century. Canadian Haitian musician Melissa Laveau brings this rebel music back to life as part of her new project, Radio Sewell. And Melissa joins me in the studio today. Melissa Laveau, thanks for being here today. Thank you. Now, you're touring France right now with your latest project, Radio Sewell. Before we get uh, into that, uh, for those who aren't familiar with Melissa's sound, uh, let's take a listen uh, to some of her work. You hand on his arm, hate stack charm around your neck, strung and thin, calling some friend, trying to cash some check. He said you're acting dumb, well, that's what you've come to expect. Radio uh, Sewell, Melissa. Now, this uh, is a project that explores uh, traditional Haitian repertoire. Tell us more about it and why you embarked on this uh, musical journey. Um, I thought I, I didn't really know a lot about this particular period of Haiti. Um, and I had only heard this one song by Martha Jean-Claude. I've heard many songs by her, but um, this one song that she sang was called Angelina. And I always wondered where it came from. And so I sort of pulled the thread a little bit, did my research online, and I found out that it's this long, ongoing joke by Auguste Lassonde Pradzin called Tikonjo about um, the, the wife of the governor, the military governor of Haiti, at uh, the time that was married. American, and her name was Angelique and it basically tells her you don't know how to cook you don't know how to clean you don't know how to hold house go home and it's telling all the Americans to just go home and so there's this double entendre where Americans would walk into a bar or a jazz cafe and they'd be like oh this is a cool song and then all the Haitians would know what it was really about and they didn't know the meaning the real yeah. meaning of the song well we're living in politically turbulent times right now do you think that music can bring about change or at least uh, help to build momentum for change i definitely think that music can build momentum for change i think music can bring hope um, I think music is also there to um, keep note of history. Um, there's something about um, uh, musicians and artists uh, being there to be the cultural historians and making sure that um, people don't forget what's happening. Now this project is a nod to your Haitian heritage. How important are your roots when it comes to creating music? Um, I have to thank my Haitian heritage for my voice and the way I play guitar. So, for me, it's really important to thank uh, to thank my my origins and, and my ancestors and my ancestry in general. Um, I. I, I thought that this was a project that was a perfect time to, to, to bring along. It has actually been recorded. So this is actually really interesting that we're already touring on this project that is being recorded next week uh, for oh, the first exciting. time. Um, but it was really important for me to have a project where I could bring back to Haiti, hopefully with some of the funds uh, collected from this project, that I can support other female musicians that are there. Well, that's exactly what I was going to ask you about next, actually. You, throughout your career, you've been very supportive of feminist uh, causes what is the work uh, tell us about the work you'll, you'll be doing uh, in relation to to this project uh, how do you see that so the work hasn't been clearly defined yet but um my hopes are that i can find a way to create a fund from um from profits hopefully uh that'll support uh any female musician who wants to start recording herself at home and doesn't have the funds to um i've heard a lot about sexual harassment in studios and one of my suggestions was, like, well, what if you could record yourself at home in your home studio? What if you had the funds to have a home studio in your own home? Um, you wouldn't be, I, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't stop sexual harassment in studios. Um, however, it would make somebody feel like they had a lot more agency over their career and over the work they produced. 
Now, you've lived in Paris for several years, nine years, you were telling me, uh, off air. Unofficially. Yeah. <laughs> and, in fact, you're playing at the Cabaret Sauvage as part of the New Soul Experience Festival uh, next month, I believe. Has France had any effect on your artistry? I think so. Um, it's... Uh, it's made me a little more disciplined because I don't have a job other than playing music here. Whereas I was a student when I was in Canada and I was juggling a part-time job and my studies. And then being in France, um, I'm incredibly fortunate to be have, to have music as my full-time job. Um, and it takes up a lot of my time thankfully. Uh, and I have never would have conceived of signing up for a residency in Italy or um, going to Haiti and doing research on... You know, I wouldn't have done that if I was in Canada or if I was a student and I was to have a side job. So France has definitely changed me and made me into a more dedicated artist. Well, I want to ask you about um, dance... So dance music, um, because your music is mostly down tempo. So, who do you listen to when, uh, when you want to hit the dance floor? Uh, I guess I'm thinking of a lot of. I've, I've recently come back from Carnival in Colombia, wow. and so I was listening to a lot of stuff because um, there's everywhere in the street. Basically, there were street parties, um, and. I came back and I was sort of looking for that essence. I was listening to a lot of rumba. Um, I was listening to uh, a lot of merengue as well, a lot of cumbia. Um, and I, I think now the, the, the most high I get is from like going to the gym. And oh. <laughs> I listen to um, uh, Roisin Murphy is something that always comes back. Um, Peaches, something that always comes back. Cool. Missy Elliott. Yes. A good one. Well, we may have to take you out to a salsa club, <laughs> see some of those moves in action. You're going to perform for us uh, a little bit later on, uh, but before you do that, let's take uh, a quick look at uh, some of the week's music news. Hip-hop veterans Talib Kweli and Styles P are unveiling a joint project. They've teamed up to deliver thought-provoking rhymes on The Seven, an EP featuring guest appearances by fellow rappers yeah. Common and Rhapsody. The first single, Last Ones, is about being part of a dying breed of authentic old school MCs. Check it out. So, Melissa, that's a collaboration uh, between Talib Kweli and Styles P. If you could collaborate with anybody tomorrow, for example, Flying uh, on a joint album. Who? Flying Lotus. Oh, oh yes, good one. Flying good one. Lotus. Um, I think uh, he's appearing at uh, We Love Green, the We Love Green Festival yes. in yes. June here in Paris. So that's a good one. Uh, also out this week, uh, down tempo electro pop outfit Little Dragon drop a new album called Season High, a follow up to their 2014 Grammy nominated record Nabuma Rubber Band. The release coincides with a US and UK tour that kicks off this week. While the album's lead single, High, is a mellow introduction to the band's new material, the latest track, the uplifting Sweet, changes gears. Take a listen. Melissa, I know you're a huge fan of Little Dragon. What exactly do you love about them? Um, I love the singer's voice, but I also love the lyrics. Are, I like the, the, the duality between some music that sounds like you could dance in a, in a dance club, but also have this extreme pang of existentialist angst um, as you're dancing, um, because the lyrics are so carefully crafted, and the, the, the voice is very heartfelt. And what do you think of the new material that you've just heard there? It's 
it's they're always evolving this is a band that never has an album that sounds exactly like the first n- n- none of the albums sound like twice um sure. none of the albums sound like Nububa Rubber Band um so I'm really excited to hear anything new from them Okay. Uh, Also out this week in French releases, a musical collaboration courtesy of the duo Lady Sir, an unlikely pairing consisting of actress and director Rachida Brachny plus Gaëtan Roussel from the superstar Gallic rock band Louise Attack. The album Accidentally Yours is awash in multilingual folk pop ballads fusing French, Arabic and English. Well, Melissa, we know that you sing in French, English and Haitian Creole. Speaking of which, uh, you're going to close out the show uh, with the song. I'm going to try and pronounce this correctly. Les mains montées cheval moins. Yes. Did I do that? Oui. <laughs> Did I do that right? Oui. Merci. Once again, Melissa Laveau is currently on tour across France with songs from Radio Siwa. Thanks again for being here today. For more arts and culture news, head to our website and connect with us on social media. Stay with us. Lots more news coming up after this. Take it away. Balarito, c'est bon, c'est bon. Aïda, c'est bon, c'est bon. Les mamans de cheval, moi, mon gagné. Les mamans de cheval, Je